All right, guys. So uh, I'm back again. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. Uh, I will be uploading more consistently later. Just have you know school stuff. Uh, just a little channel update. Uh, this is going to be my last reaction rush in a while. Uh, it's, it's going to be my last reaction rush for a long time. Uh, after this, I'm going to react to Coasters Music Cubing's Top 100, his new Top 100. But that's not out yet. But after that, I'm going to retire reactions for about a, for a few months, I guess. And kind of go back to my original countdown content. I'm going to make an updated Top 50 roller coasters in the world. Um... I know I can go bigger, I can go top 100, top 200, top 300, and of course, top 1000, like Coaster Frenzy, but I feel like it's more about the quality over the quantity, so I want to make like an extremely accurate top 50 that everyone's going to like over just kind of listing a thousand coasters. So, the, so anyway, about this reaction rush today, I'm going to react to Carolina Coaster fans, top 25 roller coasters in the world. Um, top throw coasters, top 25 roller coasters that he's ridden, and also finally Mr. Roller Coasters, top 100 roller coasters in the world. So it's it's not a huge reaction rush today, only three videos in this one. In this one, so let's begin with Carolina Coaster fans, top 25 roller coasters in the world. What am I doing? So the arms here after the 25, uh, that's very low. You know that I predict that they will be top 50 in the world coasters. Uh, hockey, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good spot, I'd say. Um, you know, no one's written it yet, but it sort of looks like kind of a mix between like Steel Vendor and the Texas Giant. Uh, Twisted Colossus, that's a great spot. I agree with that for sure. Alec, that's a little low. I think Lex should be top 20. Possibly even top 15. Uh, Mega Lights. I mean, sure. I originally had them higher, but I think they could even be lower than 21, like maybe 25, 26. All right. That's a great spot for Red Fire. Ice Beach should probably not even be top 30 just because of the restraints. Helix. Um, oh yeah, it's a fine spot. Medusa Steel Coaster. Uh, 18, that's a great spot for Medusa. I definitely agree with that. For sure. Uh, Wood Coaster. That's a good spot too. It could even be higher, who knows. It definitely looks like the best GCI. And one of the best wooden coasters in the world. Maverick. You know, that seems high, but... But, you know, I'm a big Maverick fan. Steel Vendor's Maverick, yeah. Um, so I'm fine with that spot. Storm Chaser, 15. Actually, that's one of the best spots I've seen of Storm Chaser in a long time. Most people put a 20s, 30s. I could be riding that this year. I hope that it lives up to um, my... To, I hope it lives up to how good I think it'll be. Twisted Timbers. I feel like Storm Chaser will be better than Twisted Timbers. Just because of the intensity. But I could be wrong. That's a great spot for T-Express. If the entire coaster was like that first half with the with that insanely strong looking airtime hill, then that could, it could be top three in the world. But it looks like it's a pretty dull second part after the mid-course. That's a perfect spot for Hyperion. You know, everyone puts it at 12, I'm telling you. Uh, that's a great spot for G-Force too. It could be a little higher though. Maybe in like top eight. You know, looks like a mix between um, Millie and I-305. Skyrush. You call it Intimate Wing. It has wing seats, but I would call it Intimate Hyper. But, oh yeah, that's good. A Voyage, that's also good. You know, according to Ryan from Canada Coaster Fan, the airtime isn't, like, that strong, so I don't know. That's a good spot for Wildfire, too. So far, this is a really good list. Hopefully that, hopefully um, I don't jinx it. Karen on number seven. That's a really good spot. Yeah, this is great. I can already tell that my top, the, the top, the top 25 and my top 50 will be very similar. Um, El Toro. That's 
very, very low. I know that he's gonna put like Fury 3 to 5 in the top three. Elrod, that's low. I think it could be number two in the world. DC Rivals is a little too high. I think it can be anywhere from like number 15 to number like six. You know? A two meter three five, that's a great spot. But it's not a great spot when I know that Fury 325 is in front of it. Okay, I already expected this. I knew this was coming because I've seen other videos from Carolina Coaster fan. He's a big Fury fan, but but no. Okay, Steel Vendors, that's a great spot. But okay, Fury, Fury 225. B&Ms aren't really that forceless. I mean, they're not, sorry, they're, they are forceless. It's hard to find intense B&M. And just because Fury's a long ride doesn't mean that it's like, you know, one of the best in the world, you know, or just because it has the stats. Like... I don't know. To me, it just doesn't look like it lives up to the hype. I haven't run it yet, but I've run Leviathan, which is just kind of a slight step down from Fury. I've run lots of B&Ms, though, so I, I do know what Fury's like. Well, that was Carolina Coaster fans, top 25 roller coasters in the world. Besides Fury 325 and number two, that was... That was almost, that was a nearly perfect list. I agreed with lost the spots. Um, so yeah, that was, overall it was a pretty good list. Um, you know, I'll, I might as well just rate all three of these lists. I will rate this one a 6.5 out of 10. It would be like a 9.5, just if Fury was like not even on the list. But let's move on to um, top thrill coasters. Top 25 coasters that he's written. Alright, okay. A uh, new intro for Top Thrill Coasters. I prefer the old one, but I mean, whatever. Still pretty good. It's not about the intro, it's about the actual um, list, so let's see. Maverick didn't even make the list. Whoa. Uh, Hydra over Maverick. Not sure about that one. Hydra is a floor lift, but Maverick is an amazing lift. Comment over Maverick. Okay, you're insane. King Ka, once again, over Maverick. Fahrenheit. Over Maverick. Like, I can't believe it. Why would you... You put a dive coaster over Maverick. I hate dive coasters. Like... Valerie, but yeah. No, Valerie is not better than Maverick. Seriously, Valerie is like, like trash. I'm um, Talon, that's fine. Not better than Maverick, but whatever. You have to let me know in the comments why you put Ma Magnum, not Magnum, sorry, why you put Maverick so low. Uh, Ride of Steel, Six Flags America, that shouldn't be higher than Maverick. But that's a fine spot, I guess. A uh, Nitro. Thank you for not putting it, like, super low. I mean, it's a being on Hyper, so it can't be that bad. But yeah, that's a, that's a good spot for Nitro. Intimidator. That's a good spot too for Intimidator. Uh, yeah. If, if it wasn't in a parking lot, then it might even be higher. And it's also like trimmed like crazy, but whatever. Uh, Steel Force. Uh, once again, shouldn't be higher than Maverick. Okay, that's that's really high for Gatekeeper. I like Gatekeeper more than Valorivan, but even I wasn't even too impressed with Gatekeeper. 
and like I got to ride in the back row, so on both sides, so so even the back row is like definitely definitely the best row on it, but still afterburn. It's a um, yeah, good spot. Definitely better than wing closer than dive closer. Yeah. Boulder dash. Wow, that's high. It's extremely high, but whatever. I mean, you have ridden all these coasters, so you're entitled to an, op to an opinion, but still. Uh, it's a good spot for Outlaw Run. Could even be higher. That's the one coaster on here that I think could actually be better than Maverick. Could be. Didn't say for sure. All right, I know you're an El Toro hater, but that's extremely low. And that's only based on what you've written. So in the world, you'd probably put it even lower. Like, that's insane. Okay, look at Cyclone for El Toro. You're, you're out of your mind, but I mean, whatever. And again, this is based on what you've written. So you could have like, you know, bad experiences on some of these coasters, you know. But I'm not sure. Uh, that's a good spot for, for Twisted Timbers. Uh, I don't know if it's better than El Toro. I don't think it is, but again, your opinion. I uh, Skyro 7. I have it number 7 in the world, so that is a low low. But that's fine. Yeah. Okay, there's no way Superman the Rise better than Skylash. Uh Superman doesn't even look that good, like with, especially with those U brick restraints. Ugh. Like for me it's like just like it's like number fifty or number forty nine. Okay, that's really high for Phoenix. Okay, I can tell that you live in the in the Pennsylvania air, uh, area. Cause you like been to all like the Pennsylvania parks, you know. But Amelia took it. Oh, top four drafters in the top three. I'm gonna rant. Watch me. See Amelia number four. That's kind of high, but it's okay. I th I like Maverick more than Millie. Okay. No. No. Okay, I've written Top Flow Dragster. So I'm allowed to have an opinion. It's not that good. I prefer Magnum XL 200 over Top Flow Dragster. It for me, barely makes the top 100 in the world. It's for, it's like number 97, like. Like, it's really, it's so overrated. I know your channel's called Top Thrill Coasters, but still. Uh, it's a good spot for I Feel Five. Still can't believe that. Like, it's, it's not worthy of top three. Based on what you've written, I don't even know if it's worthy of top ten. Okay, now... I thought you've written all the coasters that, that you put on your California list. But I guess it was just a prediction. All right. No. All right. That list was absolutely, that was like one of the worst lists I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know what to say. Fury was way too high. Uh, Dragster was way too high. And uh, Maverick should have been in there. And Superman the Ride was way too high. Okay, on a scale of one to ten, I'd uh, give that list a like a like a three point five, maybe even a three out of ten. Um, don't get me wrong, top throw coasters, you have a great channel, but that was really weird. That was terrible. All right, so next is Mr. Roller Coasters, top one hundred roller coasters in the world. I really don't want to rage over his list. Uh, I hope that it's decent. So let's do it. All right. I hope this one's good. 
Seriously, I hope it's good. All right, Apollo Chariot number 100. That's actually not bad. That's okay. Uh, Karacho with Trips Drill. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Junker 98, good spot too. All right, so far it's fine. Number seven time, seven, 97, sorry, number 97 time travel. Oh yeah, it's fine, too. What? Uh, it's fine for Doris on the drop. Oh my gosh, you put Pyrenees not even in the top 80 when it should be top 30. I guess I'm reacting to three bad lists today. Boulder Dash, that's fine. Yukon Striker, that shouldn't even be in the top 100. I'm gonna ride it a whole lot this year because it's coming to my home park, but whatever. Accelerator, that's a little low. Should be like top, like top 80 at least. Storm Runner, that's fine. Yeah. Goliath at Laurent. Um, sure, that's, that's decent, but shouldn't be higher than Pyrenees. Goliath at Over Georgia, that's, that's a pretty good spot. Uh, Legend. Um, yes, that's fine. Magnum. Nope. Magnum needs to be a whole lot higher. Ravine Flyer 2, that's a good spot. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Uh, Hades is a little high. Like 90 something, but even that's like a little generous. I don't, doesn't look that great. Manta. So I guess it's like, you know, that and Acrobat at Nagashima Spa Land both. That's fine. Tatsu, that's, that could be a little higher, I think. You know, I don't really like B&M, but I do like the flying coasters. Thunder Dolphin, that needs to be top 50 for sure. Thunder Dolphin looks great. Uh, Formula Rosa, that's a great spot. Never seen that POV before. Mm. Thunderhead, Dollywood. I'm, I'm excited to ride Thunderhead this year. Joker, um, good spot, yeah. Goliath, uh, that's a good spot too. I think both Goliath and Joker could actually be a little higher. Okay, Raging Bull should not be higher than Goliath. But, whatever. Uh, Silver Star, it's a little high. But I respect it though. Smile, that should be way higher, actually. I think Smile could actually be like top 30. Not kidding. Um, Nitro. It's a little high. Uh, I run a game. That's too low. Should be like 50 or 40 something. Intimidator. That was like one of the first POEs of Intimidator. Look at that. Nice red color. Now it's like all faded. That's a little high. Behemoth. Um, you know what? If I say Behemoth is a good spot, then the, all the other Behemoth Hypers are a good spot too. And uh, Lightning Run, good spot. Storm. Maybe a little lower, but sure. Up in a blitz, good spot. Yeah, that's a perfect spot, actually. New Texas Giant, that's... I think it's a little too high. To me, it looks like the weakest RMC. It's just overbank after overbank after overbank. Mind blower, that should not be near this top 70. 
I thought it on should be way higher, should be top 30. Uh, the Rider Steel clones, that's high. Whatever. Flying Ace, sorry about my lack of energy, it's like late at night and I'm so tired. That's a good spot, Flying Ace, that's actually exactly where I have it. Ghost Rider, that's a... That could be a little higher, I think. Mystic Timbers. Um, that's a little too high, I think. Balder. Good. Gold Striker. Okay, you have to work on your uh, your editing skills. Like, sh for some of them, it shows the name of the coaster before it pops up. Taran, Taran, Taran. Good spot. Nephis Gesson. Good. Troy. Good, also. Star Sky Ripper, good. Flying Dino, it's too low. Yeah, it should be top 30. Oh, the Jungle Trailblazer, the non-inverting Jungle Trailblazer with the high five element. Good spot. So it's a Cyclone. Um, that should be higher. Goliath at Wallaby, good. Coasters of the Clouds, that's too low. Should probably be top 25 or top 30 at least. Uh, Cannonball Lagoon, that's, that's a little high, but I respect it, you know? It looks good. It's like almost like the American Cannon. Colossus. Colossus. Oh, uh, yeah, good. That's way too high for, di for Diamondback. Why is it so high? I don't know. Kumba. That's a great spot. It could even be higher. Uh, Phoenix. Oh. No. Tega, it's not open yet, but that that's an appropriate spot, I'd say. Copyright strike, no. It's also not open yet, but there's no way, no way it'll be that good. Wicked Cyclone is good. Mako, that's, that's kind of high. Looks like the best b and Hyper in America. Uh, jungle Flying Dragon. Uh, good spot. Now those Chinese GCIs look insane. Dawn Dragons, uh, also a good spot. On my top 100, I, I had it lower, but again, making a new top 50, more accurate. Irat, uh, that's, that's a pretty good spot, but it could be a little higher. Python, that's too low. Yeah, that's, that's a little, that should be top, like 25. Shammy B, great spot. Couldn't agree more. Oh, Vithan, that's way too high. I think drop it about 20 spots. A coaster, that should be higher. Top 20 at least. Ugh. Okay, I understand that you like you really like SD two thousand, but uh, Millie, that's a uh, that's a good spot. Yeah. Steel curtain. I don't think it'll be that good, but I mean it's extremely unique. Nine inversions, but Fam revenge. That's kind of high. Untamed. Okay, that's not really the accurate layout, so I don't think we should really judge it yet. A Storm Chaser, that's way too low. Should be like at least 10 spots higher. 
Uh, it's a good spot for the mega lights. RMC Raptors. That's also too low. Should be higher. Outlaw run. Maybe a little lower as well. Ugh. Again, red fire. That's a great spot. Ice speed should be way lower. A lot lower it should be because just because of those hard restraints. Red fire has lap bars. Nobody, no, nobody realizes that. Twisted claws. That's good. Black. That should be higher. Maverick, great spot. See, take that top throw coasters. That's a good spot for Maverick. T Express, that should be like 10 spots higher. Again, if there was no mid course, I mean, like the whole ride was just like that first airtime hill, you know, it could be like top three in the world, but no. Helix. Yeah. Twisted Timber is a good spot. Speaking of King's Dominion, rest in peace, Volcano. You will be missed. Uh, Medusa, good spot. Hawkeye. I don't think it'll be that good. It could be like 20 or 30 something, but I don't know if it'll be 16. Hyperion, good. Oh. Sky Rush. Divide that by two, it'll be a good spot. So, oh. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. Wait, no way. Oh, that's a good spot for, um, Daniel Connor and Ishinika should probably be top 10. X2 should be spaced out a little more. Fury, that's insanely high. With Coaster, that's a little high too. Yeah. Boss, that was good. Uh, what is Karen? Yep. Good spot. Good spot for G-Force, too. Voyage. I respect it. It's a little high, though. El Toro. Duh, too low. These two are a little high. I think if you switch that in El Toro, it'll be a little more accurate, but these two are be a little lower too. Two meter three oh five. Good spot. Yes. That's a great spot. For I three oh five. So number two will be El Radia. Hope that your rods open this season. When it opens, when you open in March, I hope it's open. And I want to see your vengeance. Yes, great spot. But only one takes it today, huh? I don't know what that means. But yeah, so that was also not a very good list, but I give that one like a five and a half out of ten. All right, so that was Mr. Roller Coaster's top 100 roller coasters. So that's it for my reaction rush number three, number four, sorry, number four. Um, this was my least favorite one to film because none of the three lists were good in my opinion, but I will leave the links to all three channels in the, in the description. Let me know in the comments 
if you want to see me do an eye reveal, let me know. If this video gets to 15 likes, then I'll do it. 